Matt. Yeah. How in the world are you? Pretty good. I don't know, nothing, nothing really super exciting happened throughout the week for me. It's just a, it's just the same old thing. Well, I guess uh, we hired a new guy to also do the front, basically whatever I do, but he's new to it, so... That's fun. Replace you if they want to. <laughs> uh, no, I've been training him how to do basically everything that I do up front, and uh, well, it, it, it also makes it better because I know the guy. I've known him for a while, and I actually went to school with him, um, and he was looking for a better job. So I think. Um, Another guy that works for the same man that I work for, talked to him about it, and then I talked to him about it. He went in, I guess, last week to talk with him, and he he went in there, and the owner basically said, so you have the job, I just need to know whenever you can start. Which is basically what he told me, so that was cool. And he started working this week, and... The interview is... You breathing? Yeah. No, this it's that interview was one of the easiest interviews I've ever had to do in my life. Just because I went in there, he basically told me the exact same thing. I was like, "So you basically have the job," and then he just explained what the job was, and then he asked, "When can you start?" and "How much do you want to be paid?" And then you responded, "Yeah." <laughs> And then he said, oh, never mind, uh, I'm so sorry. The, the position has been filled. Yep. <laughs> but someone that doesn't do that. And then I was sad and I ran away. It was yours to lose. But then gain immediately. Yeah, so. That's fun. Yeah. He's actually going to school, so. He, he doesn't work as many days as I do. But he will be working Saturdays, which makes me happy because it will relieve some of the stress that I have because Saturdays there's only four people working there. Me, up in the front, a service writer, one mechanic, and then our lube technician who basically handles all the oil changes that we do. So it's really just four people handling a store during the day, which is normally full of like, I think it's about eight or nine people we normally have working there. So we have half the manpower doing an entire store's worth of work. So that's really fun. But, uh, I don't, he, he won't be working every Saturday, but even some Saturdays I'll take. Yeah, and, really. Oh, yeah. Uh, but if we end up finding another person who needs, uh, who needs a job. We can, uh, the three of us who work on, who work the front can start getting in a rotation to get Saturdays off, which I will like because that is the most draining day ever. Just, even just what I do, I can't imagine working on cars or assisting on cars because I would, I would just be, I'd be able to do nothing by the time I got off work. I'd just go home, get in bed, and just go to sleep. And all I do is I, I watch the register on the front. I do full service gas pumps. I fill people's tires if they want them. I check people's fluids if they want me to. I plug tires. I take tires off of rims and put new tires on rims or use tires on rims. And then I can also take tires off of cars and then remount a new tire on a car. And I think this Saturday I, pl- uh, I ended up plugging maybe 10 or 11 tires and putting three or four tires on a car. Al- 
along with doing a bunch of other things. So it's a lot of stuff. But it's some of the easiest grunt work in the store. So. But it'll be nice having another person to work with. And eventually someone I can just have do that job while I stay home and sleep. You're like, hey, grunt. Good at. Yeah. Be good. Now I just have to find one more person. That's it. But yes, that. I guess that was my week. How was your week, Stephen? Pretty good. Um, yesterday I got to drive two and a half hours to go meet up with a friend of mine who I haven't seen since my wedding. So that was fun. We did something I haven't done in, like, over a decade. Hung out at a mall. And I'm like, yeah. I realize now why I don't go to malls anymore. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, I'm like... I think malls will be, like, completely dead in the next ten years. I'm surprised that there's still some of them around. I think they'll still be around. I don't know. It's just... I mean, this one we were in was like... The only thing to do in town was go to the mall. And there were some big stores which were closed. Like, they had a lot of empty space. Um... I just feel like it's been a slow death for malls in general. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting time. Um, also, apparently I wasn't supposed to work from home on Monday, but I did. And I was off the previous uh, work day that Friday. So I missed the email that went out saying, hey, everyone needs to come into the office on Monday. The thing that we were doing where everyone's going to work from home has been canceled. And I didn't get that email because I don't check emails when I'm off work. More people need to do that. If you're off work, don't work. Don't crack open your laptop. Don't. Turn on your work phone. Just leave it off. Unplug. Go hug your kid. So, I didn't get in trouble for it, of course. I just got a bunch of heckling when I came in on Tuesday. But it is what it is. It's going to say that really it surprised me. Because I was just walking around with my headphones on. And then I think I went to the fridge to get some yogurt. And then I took one headphone out because I thought I heard something. And then I was hearing voices I didn't, I hadn't heard before. So I was like, where, where is that coming from? And then I went over here and I was like, uh, I forgot he does that. I was going to do that. <laughs> and then I shambled back into my bedroom. I'm getting out of here. Well, what you playing? You know, I don't know if I, I don't think I played very many video games this week. I think I played League, it wasn't Monday because I went over to my mom's house on Monday, Tuesday, I think Tuesday I played League, Wednesday, didn't do anything, Thursday didn't do anything, oh yeah, Thursday and Friday I just didn't feel good, I, I thought about playing 
some league on Friday, and I just I just kind of just laid in bed and just fell asleep. And then, oh well, I guess yesterday. Uh, yeah, today and yesterday, I guess, is when I played the most video games. It's, uh, yesterday, I went over to a buddy's house and played, um, what are they, I think it's ja uh, Jackbox or Jackpack, or, I'm not sure, it's like a big bundle of, what is, what, they're normally card or board games, but someone like, you don't know Jack? Hmm? You don't know Jack? Jack, are you giving me a suggestion? No, or? it's like, is the game You Don't Know Jack? No. No, it's like a bunch of different, there's like, um, well, I think one's called Fake It, uh, Fibbage, Quiplash, uh, I think they were all like card games or board games, and then someone just made them into like a big bundle that you can buy on like Steam or for Xbox oh. or PlayStation. And we just played a few of them for like two or three hours yesterday. And then today, um, you know, I, I guess I can consider Dungeons and Dragons playing a game. Because that's a game. I, uh, fun fact, I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons for like seven or eight weeks or since like the fourth week of summer, I think. So I think somewhere in June I started playing a campaign with some buddies of mine. Um, and yeah, we've been doing that a lot. It's, it's pretty fun. It's I don't play very many... Uh, I get, It's more classified as a board game. I don't play very many board games because I don't like them that much. Um, but that that's definitely a really fun game that I enjoy playing. Uh... And I actually got to meet a few new people because of it. And they're all pretty cool, too. So I uh, played that for about four or five hours today. And then I played Smash with them for, I think, an hour. Right after we got done. And that that's really it. It's the lowest amount of video games played in a long time. Averaged at about maybe six hours of gameplay. Wow. Yeah. I'm a little ashamed. <laughs> but how about you? What you been playing? Well, I wish I had that amount of time to play video games. <laughs> I think I'm going for a world record of how slowly I'm playing through Pokemon Yellow. I just now got the fourth badge. Um, and... Yeah, Pokemon is Pokemon. It's, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Oh, you can get Vulpix in yellow, but only from uh, buying it with uh, gain coins in Celadon City. So. I, I'm going to be honest. I really hate the game corner. Is it in other gens it's there's I think there's a mm, there might not be in seventh I don't think there is in seventh you know what it it might not exist in others I honestly don't know I just don't like the safari zone I like I, I actually like the safari zone safari zone is probably one of my favorite spots I I I'm not a fan of like the the like five minute timer that it puts you on or however long it is it's like I think something like 500 steps in gen 1 see it's uh, gen I know gen 4 they made it they made it a lot bigger to the point to where you had to like use trams to get to certain areas but I think they also had the time thing in that um, other than that, I don't think the Safari Zone has been in anything else other than second, first, and fourth gen. There's usually some kind of like there's some kind of like extra thing you can do. Like I think in Gen Five, um, 
Or no, it's a... That was instead of contests. I don't, know, I don't think the game corner actually appears in anything else at past Gen 2. Because mm -hmm. I don't think it's in Gen 3, and I don't think it appeared in any other games. But it's... Uh, I just I don't have the time to, you know, play little mini-games in a game where I want to, you know, raise monsters to kill other monsters. If I, killing. If, if I want to gamble, I want to want to do it right. With <laughs> money. I bet you a Pokemon. No. That, now that would be cool. Yeah. That would make that a lot more intense. <laughs> it's, uh, but it was, that would also be a fun way of actually like getting new Pokemon. You know, like you have the chance of gaining a new Pokemon, but you also have the chance of losing a valuable Pokemon. Yeah. That'd be that'd be a cool thing to do, but yeah, I don't know. I just there's a lot of people that like actually enjoy the game corner and like playing like Voltorb Flip, uh, which I I guess is one of the better ways you can get money or uh, coins, coins because you can actually like the slots are pretty much a waste of time in Gen One. Just buy coins. Yeah, it's it's like playing pachinko. <clears throat> You just you just play it enough times. Pachinko is oddly satisfying, though. Like this is just slots. See, eh. I I put them in the same category. Cause pachinko, you're just. It's fun. It's fun to watch a pachinko machine like work, though. To me, it's just like, it's like a. What are they? The. R roulette wheels. No pinball. It's it's like pinball without the satisfaction of using flippers. I love pinball. I li I I like pinball too, but at least in that you get to do something. In pachinko, you just watch them fall. I know, and it's so satisfying to watch. I mean, like it is, but you know, that's a lot of money. <laughs> well, I mean, I just like I like it when there's ever, whenever there's a pachinko mini game in a video game. I think that's always a nice touch. And I know it's a very, you know, cultural Japanese game, but I wish they would include them or, you know, include that as a mini game in more video games that are released over here in the West. Um, and aside from that, um, kind of a late pickup. This was probably going to be the last game that I buy for the Vita physical copy. Um, I hate this title. <laughs> PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. The dumb, dumb name. Like it sounds like a name you would call, you know, a code name for a game. I. They could have shortened it. They could have just made it a lot better sounding. So, um, and this was you know, released last gen on PlayStation 3 as well. If you're not familiar, it's basically Sony's answer to Smash Brothers. It's a Smash Brothers style game up to four fighting each other at once. Um, there's, it's very different from Smash Brothers though because you have no health, you don't take damage, the only thing you're trying to do is build up a meter from level, no level two, level three. one, two, and three. And of course, each one lets you do a level one, two, or three super. And when you pull off a super and it makes contacts with, or it makes contact with another player, it kills them. And there's different ways to play you could do survivals you know kind of like a stock battle which i didn't know you could do that i thought that you could just do like a time battle or maybe like a point match like the first one to so many kills but it's nice that survival is in here although it's just it's not i understand that they did it because they're like okay we want to make a smash brothers style game but we don't want to just completely ape the uh 
gameplay idea of being like knocked off the screen and for our own intents and purposes they accomplished it it's just not as interesting or fun <laughs> I do have to say I do like the um, they definitely get the whole which characters would work like you, you have to have some characters and they're like oh sure they belong in that game you know Kratos uh, Dante uh, Big Daddy Big Daddy yeah um, and then you have some odd choices like Parappa, uh, that cat thing. I don't know what it's from. There's some kind of cat character. The the one from Gravity Rush? No, no, no. Like a an actual cat that looks like cartoony. Oh, Sack Boys in it from Little Big Planet. Um, so I guess I, they get the idea. One thing they did really well in it is the stages that you pick, or stages that you fight on, rather, you they're like a combination of two. Like something they do in Smash Brothers, you know, there's Smash stages, original stages to Smash, and then there are levels themed after the games that the characters are from. Well, imagine, like, if you're playing a Smash Brothers stage uh, Delfino Island or something like that and all of a sudden uh, let's say let's say I'm trying to think of his name Ridley Ridley yeah that's actually who I was thinking of Ridley attacks and like all these Metroids like descend on the stage you can like see them attack the people in the background okay <laughs> well, the, the, yeah. is it the Crap, what is the species called? It's named after some kind of fruit. P- I don't know. I think it's P- Piantas. Sure. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, the little, little tropical tree people. Yeah. So, imagine if that were to happen. That's kind of what happens in All Soldiers Battle, Battle Royale. Blah, 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 blah. Um, you'll have, like, one level. You think it's one thing, and it turns into another. Um, it's and it's a neat idea. It's it's something that you know other fighting crossover fighting games, especially, just haven't really done. So that was neat. Um, I think it's an interesting game. I think um, while yes, it's not as good as Smash Brothers, obviously, um, you do have you know it plays differently. And as far as the. Uh... Uh, ripoffs, I guess. The Smash, it's probably the second best. Just because, I mean, you have like a few Steam games that kind of try and copy it. And I think there's a few of them that are actually, they look interesting. I haven't gotten the chance to play them, but. There's a few of them I think I'd play for like a little bit. I wouldn't put as much time and effort into them as I actually put into Smash, but not bad. But, oh my gosh, I think there's three different Cartoon Network ripoffs of Smash. With like the latest one having characters from like the most modern cartoons. Now like you've got Finn from Adventure Time, uh... Steven from Steven Universe. I think you may even have one of the guys from regular show. It's just... Oh. <laughs> it's like they just gathered a bunch of main characters and were just like, you know what? Sometimes, or a lot of the times they fight in their shows, let's have them fight together. It's like you... There's no love into it. You're just... You're trying to make a game to compete with Smash, but it'll never happen because there's really nothing that can compete with Smash. Yeah. And I didn't really play a whole lot. Um, apparently there's a rival. Like, if you play the arcade mode, you um, eventually run into a rival and they have a, an argument, a disagreement. And I played through uh, Kratos's arcade mode. And he runs into... Uh, Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal and they're having an argument and you know they're 
saying they're going to kill each other or whatever. And I think what sets it off is uh, Sweet Tooth has an ice cream cone and Kratos somehow knocks his ice cream cone down on the ground and that's what makes Sweet Tooth angry. <laughs> it's just... I love I love little... It, it kind of makes fun of the whole trope of, okay, we've got all these uh, heroes together. In fact, I just stopped watching... Uh, or I got through watching Defenders. And they kind of pull it off well, but it seems like anytime you have crossover movies or situations you have to come up with reasons people are fighting each other so yeah that kind of was I kind of feel like it was making fun of that trope for crossovers like oh it's a stupid misunderstanding if they just sat down and talked for five minutes they could get to the bottom of this which is funny because it'll never happen because Kratos is too hot headed and Sweet Tooth is literally a psychopath right right you couldn't put two more unreasonable people together. 